Hi, this is Joe, KF7MIX, with a very short video to show a few things that have been added to um, JS8 Spotter. Actually, in this video, we're just going to cover one new thing. You'll notice from the older videos that the interface has changed a little bit, but nothing drastic. There's a new tools menu, and in this video, we're just going to look at the map option. So grid location map has been added, and all this is is a very, very basic map that shows an approximation of the stations that you're hearing. Uh, basically, any time a station reports its grid, that will show up in this list. And by default, it's going to show you the latest 100 entries. And again, you'll see these look a little bit too lined up to be uh, perfect. They're just you know a four-digit grid location, so they're kind of more or less in the center of a grid square. Uh, it, it starts with the latest 100 showing in North America. My station doesn't really hear Europe, so you, you won't see anything on that map. Um, you can also pare this down if 100 is too many. Uh, you can show just the last, the latest 10 heard. You can also double click on these. It'll draw a line from your location um, or your grid square to, to the station that you heard. I usually like to keep it around 25. You'll notice that the most recent ones are orange and then green and then they fade to dark green from there. So the older ones are the darker ones and the uh, most recent heard stations are the light ones. Yeah, you also probably noticed with the JS8 calls ability to decode weak signals that you'll get some spurious reports in there as well um, like this. You just hit the delete key and it'll take it out of your list. There's another one and another one. And actually if, if you want to for whatever reason delete uh, things in your list that aren't spurious, you know, that are accurate, you can delete them. It's up to you. Whatever you want to delete from the list, you can. And that's it. Um, oh, the only other thing is when you double click on these, it will show you a little more information down here at the bottom, uh, specifically the band that it's on and a few other items. So that's it. It's just uh, the new map option gives you the ability offline, no internet required to have some sort of um, basic map for JSA call.